Well, hi. Welcome back to Glitter 50. Yes, I'm wearing a tank top. <laughs> it just looks like I'm... Anyway, I'm so excited for today. I'm going to be going to the Pink concert, so I'm excited. I'm going to be using the Inslee Rain Flourish, which are these bright... The camera does not even do it justice. These are bright and vibrant colors. They look so much better, like, in person. So I used my Sigma Ignite as a base base. And then I put a little bit of this white down because pastel colors look better when you have a brighter base. So I'm looking for I believe this brush there's no writing on it anymore and I believe this came from Odin's eye it's just a really good um shader brush and I'm going to take this bright pink color it doesn't look that bright but it's it's bright just like my top looks like it's mostly white, it's actually mostly pink. Maybe you'll be able to see it better. Nope. It just has a bright, almost neon color to it. So, going to the pink concert, obviously I'm going to be wearing pink. So, um, I was supposed to go to this concert last October. However, Pink had something happen in her family, and I have no idea what it is, and I don't really, I mean, I don't need to know. I just know that she had some sort of family medical issue or something and she had to cancel the concert so we waited i mean at, this is the second time that i've bought tickets to a concert not necessarily just hers but to a concert and it took them a while to get back on a schedule so the first time in February of 2020, I asked my husband um, if he wanted to go see Chris Stapleton in the gorge. And that was supposed to be, I don't even remember when the concert was supposed to be, but something happened in 2020. And nobody was going anywhere. So we stayed home and we, I'm trying to get this to blend out a little bit more. Um, we didn't go to that concert for two years. It was postponed. They had a lot of concerts that they had to, redo and figure out and all the things so and it's not just one person's schedule that they have to rearrange it's you know everything so they had to redo it which is fine you know life happens so that was the first one and now the pink one pink was supposed to happen in october it is now september 3rd this is the other crazy thing that happened um so i went to we went to camp for labor day weekend because yesterday was labor day i'm gonna go into 
this color right here. Now I know it looks like a brown, but it's like a purpley brown. And so I think next to the pink, it'll look really good. And then you'll see what I do. I'll go over it with the pink also, but I'm going to blend this into. Anyway, so we were up at camp and um, my daughter was supposed to go with me to the concert, but she's having car problems and can't make it. She lives two, three hours away. She lives three hours away. So driving up here, not really the safest thing. So she's not able to go. So my best friend, um, one of them, Nikki, she's going to go with me. So we're going to go see pink. And um, she called and said, or she sent me a message saying, where are we sitting? And I was like, I don't know. Let me look. And my phone said I had no tickets. And I was like, wait a minute. What? I know I have tickets. Well, <clears throat> I, I got a new phone. And my new phone was not authorized in that account. So I had to go through the whole process of authorizing it. Now I'm going back into, this is called Pink Paradise. And I just put a little tiny bit. And I'm going to blend over the top. Anyway, so I had to go through the whole process of authorizing my phone. Um, and I had to do it several times because up at camp, there's not, um, there's not a whole lot of internet. <laughs> so it took me a little bit to figure it out and get it all authorized and I finally did just blending over the top of all of that brown to give it more of a pink purpley hue you see the I know it doesn't look brown because it takes on whatever color it's like next to I guess if I put it with the green, it would look more brown. But it just, I love versatile colors like that. Helps make the whole palette better. So, anyway, I got that all figured out. It took me like a half hour to get all that figured out. And I'm so glad she said something because I was under the impression that my concert was on Wednesday. Nope. <laughs> it's on Tuesday, which is today. Um, so, yeah, that, that took me a little bit by surprise. Alrighty. So that's the blend right now. Now I'm going to use, because... It's a concert, and I don't want to have creasing in my eyes. I'm using my Glimmer Grasp. But I have claws on now. So I need a flat brush to put this on. So I can put on my sparkle because it's pink. You got to sparkle with pink, my personal opinion. I do have um, a t-shirt that I'm going to be wearing and um, I got it a year ago. over a year ago because no I got it a year ago because I wanted it for 
the pink concert that I was going to in October. And um, then, so I cut it, you know, in different ways. I wish I could show you, but I didn't bring it in here. Alrighty, so I'm going to use a little bit of this and a little bit of this. I know right now it looks orange, but it, it's a pink shift to an orange. And I'm going to use a flat sort of fluffy brush. And I'm going to spray it. So I'm going to do... Dahlia Magic, which is the darker one, first. I'll show you what it looks like. What it looks like. I don't dig into my shadows. I just lightly brush up again. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at that color. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I haven't used this color before. So, this is a new brand to me this year. So, I'm just learning about these colors. But look at how pretty that just that one color is. Oh my goodness. I guess you don't need as much as I want to make sure I get enough, but there we go. See? And then we spray it because I want double the sparkliness of it. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness gracious, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color. Tap that all over. See how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm going to flip the brush over. I'm going to use the other side and pick up Nectar, which is that pink orange sheen. It looks more orange. But the on the eyes, it does not more of a topper color. So blend it together with that pink. a little bit of Dahlia Magic and blend in with that one. Yes. Yes, yes. So pretty. Brushing it off on my Sigma switch. Oh, I didn't put my little curl in. Hold. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm thinking, oh my goodness, my hair's not going to look right. Can't have that on a concert. Um, guess it doesn't really matter. I am picking up nectar again for the other eye. Looks orange. That's why with certain shadows you can't really judge what they're going to look like until you either swatch them or put them on your eyes because they can look one way in a pan but then they can look completely different on your eyes like this one I'll show you in just a moment. 
what I mean. So see how it looks. And in the pan, it looks orange. But it has like a pink reflect to it, which is why I used it. But it looks like it has like a purpley. purpley tinge to it. Felt a little bit of fallout, but not bad. So anyway, I'm glad that <laughs> Nikki asked me where we were sitting because if I hadn't looked, I would have thought my concert's on Wednesday. I would have showed up there on Wednesday and they would have been like, you had tickets last night. What? Here's a little bit more of that dark, you know, just to kind of blend it together. So it looks sort of seamless. I'm actually more excited that it's on Tuesday, like today, because tomorrow is going to be a more hectic day, and I'm going to be tired, but I'll do it, and it'll just be a better day. So, ta-da! Take a little bit of this just to blend everything together again. Yes. Alrighty. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put my base on. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> so I put my base on. I'm using my Jacqueline bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit um i went ahead and used a little bit of that purpley brown on the bottom and then there wasn't a color in that particular in the flourish that i wanted to use so i went in this is um, El Camino by Gourmand Girls and Ladybug Glow that I got in my ice cream beauty box. So I used this little purple pastel under as well. It doesn't stay really well under there for me anyway because my eyes water so much. But I had to try. So I'm just taking my brush. And doing the little bit of contour on my nose. But I'm super excited about going to see Pink. I absolutely love her. I think she's a phenomenal singer. Um, I love the fact that she includes her daughter. Um, her daughter, Willow, sings um, with her now. So I think that's wonderful. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Still one of my all-time favorite blushes is from ColourPop. It's called Court of Miracles. It's from their designer princess collection. This is one of my favorite blushes i've hit pan <laughs> which is rare because i have so many blushes and it's many years old but it still works it doesn't have any you know i don't feel the need to go out and buy brand new brushes, eye palettes, or blushes, eye palettes for sure. 
there is, however, a brand um, that just started in the color business. And I have her brushes. It's Sigma, or Sigma. It's um, Singe, not Sigma. It's Singe Beauty. They just came out with um, some blushes, and I really want to try them. However, I'm putting myself on hold for a minute with that because I don't know how things are going to go this year. So um, I have one thing that I'm getting this month. Um, next week, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, and then that's it for a while for makeup. I hope. <laughs> um, so this is the ColourPop and Twilight. This is in Meadow and it has kind of a, well, you can't see it, but it has like a purpley tinge to it. So I'm going to try and get this on my Super Shocks don't really go on with brushes as well. They go on with your finger. They need that warmth. See, that way you get the color payoff. I really hope that ColourPop can get um, the rest of the movies and do more um, collaboration is what I'm looking for. I hope they do more palettes with Twilight. Will I buy them? Probably because it's Twilight. I know I'm a little old for that. However, um, I liked them. So it would have been something in my childhood that I would have loved to have seen. So I don't know. So with pinks, I'm going to move my mirror closer. I have been loving using my Juvia's Place. I couldn't tell you what color this is because I can't read it. It's on the very bottom sticker right there. But that's the blue that it is. It's kind of a blue-green. But I like... Hard to talk and do this at the same time. I like taking it about halfway across. Sorry, but like that. And then I'll go into a dark blue, which this one is also from Twilight. I used to use my Star Wars that I got with the Star Wars collection, but it dried up. And then I just complete it. with the blue. And that is my, so 
So it just gives it a little spark of interest, a little something different, a little something. My hair is all crooked. Alrighty, so now I'm going to spray my face. I really need this makeup to last all day. Whew. I am so excited for today. I just really, I have been looking forward to this. I looked forward to it last year. And when it was canceled, I was devastated. However, it was out of my control. So, I mean, She's human and she's allowed to be human and need the things that she needs. So I don't hold anything against her. Should I put eyelashes on today? Maybe. Alrighty. So here is the final look. I did. Put some lashes on. I have a hair that is stuck in one of my lashes. I can feel there it goes. Whew. I use the ADA Faux Mink Lashes 3D in Jenna. That's the lashes. They're very natural looking. They're not something that's over the top. Um, they just look, they give me a little extra volume. Sorry, my eyes are doing their watering thing and I have the hiccups. <laughs> so this is the final look today. Off to see pink later this evening. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And remember who's better than you. Nobody. Have a fabulous day.